But um, Dr. Ron had talked to Leslie Tuesday night. He does this doctor call, and Leslie had called in, and she just had such um, a great story to tell to Dr. Ron. And so when um, we had this cancellation last minute, he thought it would be a good idea just to have Leslie call in and talk about her and Joshua and their story and how they ended up in my dad's living room one morning. Um, so, Leslie, are you there? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let you take over and just tell us your story and your experience thus far, okay? Okay. okay. Well, uh, we're Josh and Leslie Ames. Uh, my husband was diagnosed April 6, 2009, with a 9-inch mediastinal mass, and it's an anterior mass. Um, with the Hodgkin's lymphoma, lymphoma, a nodular sclerosing type. Um, he was treated initially with ABVD chemotherapy um, and was considered to be in remission, uh, only to find three months later that a half-inch mass had returned. And on the return, we had asked for uh, an alternative therapy, uh, Iscador, and or uh, high dose vitamin C that we had heard about that the Reardon Clinic used. And we were told that they just wanted to watch and wait, but that he wasn't allowed to get that at their clinic because they only do chemotherapy. So since December 2009, his half inch mass has progressed. Um, we could not find another oncologist to treat him. Uh, and he was not eligible for the ABVD chemotherapy again. They said it wouldn't work. And he's also not eligible for an autologous stem cell transplant uh, because he's not in remission. So we began looking in July. Uh, we had an x-ray because he was having difficulty breathing. And lo and behold, the half inch mass over the past several years has grown back into a nine inch mass again in the same place. And uh, upon finding out, uh, we immediately started s searching out alternative options. And I happened to be looking on a website, I believe it was Cancer Tutor, and I found a man named Webster Kerr. And I wrote and said, listen, we're in southwest Louisiana and places are far and few between for care here. We need a doctor that treats with high dose vitamin C and who's willing to take a chance to help me save my husband's life. I don't know of one, can you help me? And he emailed me and he also emailed Dr. Wassel and gave us his telephone number and his uh, information, how we could find him. And we called Dr. Wassel and he lives about two hours away from where we are. And he s said, sure, come tomorrow morning. I'd be happy to help you and your husband can you be here by nine? And we said, yes, sir, we'll be there. So long story short, we made it to see Dr. Wassel and his beautiful wife, Irene. And immediately we sat down and he began to talk to us about the protocol, how the IBC works and what we might be able to expect. Um, at the very least, you know, uh, at, we could prolong his life. Uh, at best, we could possibly, you know, have tumor stabilization and or we might see an effect on the tumor, but only time would tell. So we started at 50 grams uh, two times a week, and um, immediately uh, his skin symptoms, uh, he had the neoplastic dermatitis over his eyes. His hands were so bad they would split open when he just opened and closed his hands. Um, and I guess with his type of Hodgkin's lymphoma, that's kind of common. And immediately, his skin on his hands began to heal closed. They no longer split. They're not swollen. Uh, he has very small little areas on his eyelids where there's rash left. Um, we continued with Dr. Wassel um, until we could locate an oncologist in our area. Um, because we were having to drive so far, it was becoming difficult. But we wanted to, if we could, continue to see Dr. Wassel because of his knowledge. And uh, on another visit, we met Dr. Jennifer Kallmeyer. They're both such a wealth of information and helped us in uh, making the decision that we wanted to save Josh's life. Instead of do nothing, we wanted to try. 
and we believe the research is there. We read all the National Institutes of Health studies and decided to print out as much as we could with the help of Dr. Wassel. I got the document uh, dates and the people who did the information and loaded them up in a folder and found an oncologist in Lake Charles named Dr. Henry Goolsby who reluctantly agreed to give my husband the high dose uh, IV vitamin C um, to try to help him. He would have rathered something else, maybe a salvage chemo, but Josh stood his ground and insisted that he wanted to try this because otherwise he would have just stayed home. The chemotherapy was very hard on him, and it didn't work the first time around. So um, he's continued the treatment. He is now receiving 100 grams three times a week with three grams of amygdalina also in the 1,000 uh, milligrams of sterile water. Um, he's continued to improve his blood work, has gone from so-so, you know, he had pretty low lymphocytes, uh, low red blood cells. All of that is gone. His blood work is completely within normal limits. Um, the only complaint, and it's not really a complaint that he has lately, it's actually hopefully a good thing, we think, um, is he's had a cough lately, but we believe that it's tumor lysing because we did a sputum test uh, this past week, and the sputum test came back uh, negative, you know, just normal uh, flora. And um, if it's tumor lysing, then he just needs some help getting it out of there, and which is a wonderful thing. So he will have a repeat CAT scan uh, Tuesday, and we will see what this tumor is doing. But for everything that it's worth, through all of this, um, he was able to return to the gym three times a week for an hour and a half and lift uh, heavy weights. Uh, he's been as active as he can be, gardening, tilling. Um, the tiredness and sleepiness that he had previously before treatment has dissipated, not completely, but he's much better. And um, we really feel that if Josh had not started the high-dose IV vitamin C and with the help of Dr. Wassel, Carl Meyer, and Dr. Ron Hun Hunting Hockey and finding Dr. Goolsby to agree to consult with them on these treatments, that Josh might not be here today. And we really feel strongly that he will turn around. He has a strong will and is very dedicated. Um, and we're going to continue and also save all of the scans, all of the blood work, the amount of treatments, what milligrams he's getting of everything, and on completion of this, hopefully with a full remission, if not stabilization, we want to share that with Reardon Clinic so that other patients who are told there's nothing more we can do for you, just go home and you know get your affairs in order, will have an option. And we really hope that due to all of the work that Reardon's done, that this treatment will become a standard treatment here in southwest Louisiana because we're called Cancer Alley for a good reason with all these petrochemical industries. And um, we know there's no one we know here that doesn't have someone in their family, a friend, a loved one that has cancer. So we want to help Reardon and we also want to share this information with as many people as we can. And I want to say thank you to everyone there for all the work that you do and for helping me save my husband's life. Well, thank you, Leslie. We appreciate your story, and it was a pleasure getting to the chance to meet you guys in August. Oh, thank so you. Hopefully we'll be it in touch. It was a pleasure to meet you as well. All right. Well, thank you, Leslie. I'll be in touch with you, okay? Thank you so okay. much. Okay. All right. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. Right. Bye bye. So that was Leslie down in Louisiana, and her it's, she was talking about her husband Joshua, and um, and also I, just a little bit. I think they they live a very very natural lifestyle down there. They. Which you don't see often, but hmm? they're living like Indians. Because mm -hmm. they live near Lake Charles, and that's I mean, they live 
cancer alley down there, big time cancer alley. So 